Hey, what's going on guys? It's Diamond Venom 13 back with another video. However, this time I'm doing it a little differently. Usually it would be a gaming video, usually Minecraft Hunger Games, or some other mini game that I might just randomly play. But let me tell you something. I am free to do whatever the hell I want. Got it? Anyways. Today, we are going to be talking about the Rimac Nevera that was released on June 1st. The Rimac Nevera, Nevera is a $2.4 million hypercar that Rimac have been working on for a pretty long time now. First, let's talk about Rimac as a company and what they are. You might have not heard of Rimac. I mean, you might have because Richard Hammond famously crashed, or actually crashed one of their cars, which was the Rimac Concept 1. Anyways, Rimac is a Croatian car manufacturer founded by Matty Rimac, who electrified his BMW E30 when he was just 19 years old, giving the car an incredible 600 horsepower, which is insane. And it was also good at drifting, too? I mean, this guy was actually pretty good. I mean, either the car was good at drifting, or Matty Rimac just loved drifting in general, and decided to be like, hey, let's just drift with this thing. I mean, this guy was actually insane, and he was really passionate about cars the moment he was born. Honestly, before, he even said in one of his videos that he was passionate about cars um, before he could even before he even learned to walk or talk. Rimac is a company that actually produces electric sports cars, drivetrains, battery systems, and vehicle systems for, like, other companies. Uh, one of their, one, some companies that they do uh, supply parts to are, like, Koenigsegg, which is Bugatti's arch enemy, supplied uh, the hybrid uh, electric motors for the uh, Aston Martin Valkyrie. They also supply, supply parts to the Jaguar and a bunch of other people, too. Now, let's talk about the cars. The first one is the Rimac Concept 1. It was a fully electric car with insane performance output. The car had a 90 kilowatt hour battery, which is supplied to power to a four to four electric motors, putting out 1,224 horsepower and 1,600 newton meters of torque. It could accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 2.5 seconds. It had a top speed of 211 miles per hour or 340 kilometers per hour. However, the issue with this car was the range. It didn't have that much, that good of a range. It only had 210 miles, or 330 kilometers. It weighed about 1,800 to 1,900 kilograms because it had a aluminum, aluminum chassis, chassis. Next, we get to the Rimac Concept 2, which is which is actually fairly similar to the new Rimac Nevera that we have. However, there are some very, but very few differences. The Rimac Concept 2 got me super hyped. Actually, this told me that electric supercars actually had potential in revolutionizing the world. The Concept 2 has a 120 kilowatt hour battery, which is one of the because which is one of the biggest battery packs of any production car really. The 120 kilowatt hour battery delivers power to four electric motors, generating 1914 horsepower, which is insane, and 2300 newton meters of torque. However, this car was still being worked on and improved on because this was technically considered the prototype of Nevera. Even though it didn't look like a prototype, it was just the product. It wasn't really going to be the product name, actually. So then they changed it to the Rimac Nevera. Let's start with the name, first of all. Why did they pick Nevera in this case? Why not something like uh, relating to the Concept 1 or um, something else like that, you know? Well, you see, <laughs> it's a me. Okay, I, I gotta, I gotta stop doing that. Okay, I, I should probably just stop talking. According to Matty Rimac, Nevera is a Croatian storm that comes unexpe unexpectedly and is a combination of lightning, strong winds, and rain. And I personally think that it describes this car incredibly well in terms of performance. It has a, it has the same battery pack, the 120 kilowatt hour battery, and same horsepower, 1914, as the Concept 2. However, it has a little bit more torque, which is 2,360 newton meters of torque. I guess, well, every little bit helps, I guess. <laughs> in terms of acceleration, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.85 seconds, and 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.97 seconds, and 0 to 300 kilometers an hour, or as it says on uh, Remax page, uh, 186 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds. The, Ver the Nevera has a top speed of 258 miles per hour, 412 kilometers an hour. A drag racing channel called CarWow actually drag raced the Nevera against a Ferrari SF90 Stradale. During the race, the Ferrari didn't even come close to winning. It, it was like it wasn't even there. It didn't even exist there. <laughs> if you guys want to check out the video, the drag race video that CarWow did, I'll put a link in the description below. It has insane tech and everything. You see, in most electric cars, manufacturers put the bo battery at the bottom of the car, kind of like uh, in the Tesla Model 3, the Model S, and the Model X, and even the Model Y. But you see, when you do this, it actually, if you put it as like a skateboard thing, then it 
it's gonna raise the car up a bit, making it a little bit heavier. So they actually, so what Rimac did was a different approach. They put majority of the battery pack behind the seats, giving it kind of like a mid-engine car look, how like most um, internal combustion engine cars are. And they put the other, and since being a big battery, it has some of the uh, battery running down between the seats and into the footwear and where the foot feet would be. However, weight also has a factor in this. The Navara weighs 2,150 kilograms, 4,740 pounds, which is expected due to the battery pack and electric motors. However, the weight actually kind of helps the car to launch really well and accelerate really, really fast because that help because that weight helps the car put the power down onto the wheels, which hook up pretty quickly onto the road. However, the, however, it is kind of bad for the range. Like I probably think that the Ferrari handles much better in terms of range than the Rimac, but uh, but it actually does have a pretty decent amount of range considering the weight, which is 340 miles or 550 kilometers. But Rimac points out that they're going to increase the range to about 400 miles per hour. It's rumored to be 400 miles or 600 kilometers. So yeah. Now, let's talk about the anatomy of this thing. Due to the car having such a big battery, there's no frunk in this case, Most, like most electric cars, because most electric cars, uh, like the, such as the Tesla Model 3, have a 100 kilowatt hour battery, and they have a trunk and a frunk. So, in this case, they don't, in the Rimac, they don't have a frunk, because there's an air conditioning unit in the frunk for cooling the battery. Batteries do require cooling, yes. The Nevera has been designed for a lot of aerodynamics too. If you want to watch the full video of Rimac revealing the car and doing a detailed explanation on it, then I'll have a link in the description below. I'll also put a link in the description of where Matty Rimac actually shows the different modes inside the car and that you can put it in. Now, Matty Rimac actually started this company believing that electric cars would make for better sports cars. And I think that the company has done an awesome job at showing us this. To tell you the truth, Matty Rimac could have just built 150 units of Rimac Neveras, sold them, and then just straight up retired. But he didn't. Why, you ask? Because the Rimac Concept 1 and Navara are just the beginning of electric sports cars. They, have e they haven't even scratched the surface of it. I have high expectations from them in the future. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to check out my other videos if you haven't. haven't. And remember guys, don't get stuck in a Navara. Like, the, the, the storm. Not, I, mean, I mean, the car is good, obviously, yeah, but just don't get stuck in the storm. Just saying.